look out. Here comes the amazing Joanna Hayden Young. Please give, give your appreciation to, to Joanna. She's written two amazing poems about Edmund. You're going to love these two bits. Please subscribe to her YouTube channel. We will put some links on later on. <laughs> there you go, Joanna Hayden Young. Okay. <laughs> Please don't climb on the remains of an old civilization. Accidents may occur. Please mind the results of your rocks and recreations. Dead kings may be unearthed. Be considerate of ancient martyrs under weed choked tarmac. They need their rest. Their bones were blessed and shifted in panic, and your manic ball games might disturb their sleep. You might remember old bones under your feet. Remember dead kings and tennis courts can coexist in peace. So please, when running through remnants of reformation, please when picnicking in places of a patron saint's past, please heed the warnings of tourist information and tread with care to the last. That was Dead Kings and Tennis Courts about the possible location of our patron saint and where he is now. We're not sure. Uh, this I wrote for St. Edmund's Day last year. This is St. Edmund. There might be truth to the legend, lost in devastation. Handed down throughout the centuries is the story of our Edmund. There was a king or noble Saxon. There is the story of a martyr. There's a face upon a coin. In a poem, he was born in fire. And in your eye you may tell me that there are no primary sources, that of course we can't be sure, that there aren't enough resources. But there's a face upon a coin, there's a king, and there's a martyr, and there's a patron saint, dead of denial, who may have been born in fire. Sometimes there's a brave wolf who leads the searchers to his head, after Ivar and his brother shot their arrows, left him dead. And in the town where he rests we celebrate his story. We disdain those vicious Danes. We agree his death was gory. There is no such thing as a single truth, but there will always be the legend of a king, a Saxon, a coin, a martyr, of our patron saint, Edmund. Wow, isn't that amazing? She's such a cool girl.